Hello YouTube. So, I was asked by Gotta Love Carpet Pythons to show off the uh, new snakes in the collection. So, here it goes. So as you guys can see right here, um, most of you should be able to identify this snake rather quickly. For those of you who cannot, uh, this is a baby western hognose snake. Um, this is a male, his name is Loki. I know that is like one of the most um, common names for snakes, especially even for hogno snakes, but um, the name fit, so that's why we named him that. So, and the reason being why it fit is because this little guy caused a little bit of problems because... As some of you may or may not know, I'm very finicky about certain things, and one of those things is uh, uh, the number of snakes that I have, and uh, number of males, and number of females. I like everything to be even. Don't ask why. I'm just kind of weird like that. So, here's Loki. Um, just a normal western hognose snake. My girlfriend and I were, uh, excuse me, I gotta itch my nose. Um... My girlfriend and I went up to a pet store that allegedly had a lot of very small babies. And um, when we went to the pet store, they had very little stuff. They It was a really nice pet store, but they just didn't have much. And we were talking to them because my girlfriend was like, hey, I wanted to see some of the baby Western hognose snakes. I heard they were really, really tiny here. They're like, oh, well, we brought them all to uh, Repticon. And we were like, wait, what? I'm like, yeah, Repticon. And we're like oh, where is it? They're like, Jacksonville. And we were in Jacksonville visiting the pet store. They're like, where? And they're like, oh, it's like 15 minutes from here. So neither of us knew it was happening, so we both went. And um, we searched around everywhere looking for a hognose snake, saw every table, saw nothing. Then we went back to another table because I was like, hey, let's go back around. So we do, and then we bump into a table, and then bam. These guys had this little male there. My girlfriend wanted a male because she wanted a little small snake because she thinks they're really, really cute. So, um, so yeah. So that's the story of Loki. And then, of course, my girlfriend said it wouldn't be fair if she got a snake and I didn't get one. So we went looking around and couldn't find anything that I really, really liked. I almost got a blue beauty rat snake, but um, I really got to be careful about where I get one of those from because I want to make sure it's a certain kind so that way I get, you know, kind of the the looks I'd be looking for if I was going to get one. So I didn't end up getting that. Excuse me, just burped. Um, but um, I did end up getting another snake. And then uh, another snake as well. And we'll get to that in a couple minutes. So here he is. There's Loki. If he'll focus on his face. There he is. Um, if I didn't mention, he's about a month old, so, um, he's very, very tiny right now. But, um, so then I decided, because I was planning on getting two snakes instead of just one, without my girlfriend finding out, I'll get into that in a little bit, and, um, I was like, oh, well, she can't get angry if I get her another one, so... I was on kingsnake.com, and I came across this little guy. So, this is another western hognose snake. This one is a high white exanthic, uh, possible het snow, I think, but I don't really care about that, because uh, my girlfriend and I aren't planning on breeding hognose snakes. And this one is a male as well. Um, like I said, couldn't ruin my numbers, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but, yeah, so here's this little guy. He's a little bit bigger than the other one. And believe it or not, he's actually, he was born in July, whereas the other one was born in uh, September. No? October. Yeah, the other one was born in October. So... Yeah, this guy's kind of small, but he did come from a big bloodline. Sorry, I got to itch my eyebrow. Um, so he did come from a bigger bloodline, so we'll see what happens. His dad's pretty big, and his mom was 
very, very, very big. But I got this guy for a super sweet deal. Uh, so I decided to get it for her. She was upset when she saw the picture of him, and then she saw him in person, and she was no longer upset with me. So here he is. He's got that little upturned snout. Oops. It won't let me focus. There he is. As you guys may or may not know, I'm not a fan of the small snakes at all. It's not that I don't think they're cute or anything like that. It's just that I prefer the larger snakes. Um, just because my whole childhood, I would, you know, I'd find all the, I'd find little guys all the time. So I was, you know, I just never was interested in keeping them because I used to find stuff about that size all the time. So it wasn't exciting to me. I like to keep things that, you know, I can't find in the area. So that's why I have bigger snakes, in case any of you guys were wondering why that is. <clears throat> and now we're coming over to my snakes, my two new ones, my little babies. Um, so, as some of you guys know, and some of you might not know, I like the uh, uncommon species of, uh, well, reptiles in general, but definitely prefer the uncommon uh, snakes. You can tell that by what I've got in my collection. Well, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, I don't know too many people with Suriname red tail boas. I don't know that many people with Australian water pythons. Um, I don't think I know anyone with a, uh, Florida pine snake. I know somebody with a cross, but I don't know really anyone personally that has a Florida pine snake. I've got one of those. Um, and, uh, yeah, and a Texas indigo snake. I know very few people with them. So, so yeah, I like the, uh, less common stuff, but here... I have some even less common stuff, because right here, you guys can see her. This is Talia, and Talia is a Dominican red mountain boa. Uh, she comes from a very, very good line. She actually comes from a Tom Crutchfield line. So, um, very, very well-bred, nice colors, good size. Got a little bit of substrate on her back that's not like a mite or a tick or anything. That's it's a nice chunk of... Well, that might even be a water droplet. Either way, though, Talia. So this, um, you guys may or may not know anything... Oh, sorry. You guys may or may not know anything about these guys. Um, so this little girl is uh, rather comparable to a uh, jungle carpet python as far as um, care and uh, as far as size will be like when she's fully grown she'll be about the size potentially the size of a, a jungle carpet python um, eight feet at the most that's the biggest that these things get but Typically, these guys are around the six to seven, well, five to seven foot range. Um, they usually don't exceed that size, but their their girth is about that of like a, an adult jungle carpet python. Um, if you couldn't tell, because they're they're really really thin snakes, and uh, this little girl is very very docile. Um, even though she's uh, just two months old, she's very very sweet. She's never tried to bite me. I think she may have mussed on me like twice. And that's about it. But yeah. So the one thing that is interesting about these guys is that they typically prefer to eat um, things like anoles and geckos and whatnot. Especially when they're babies. So when, they, when they're born, they're typically difficult to... Um, get to eat because you got to get them to eat something like that so I'll be trying a few things see if I can get uh, the 
this one and the other one that I got, because the other one's also going to have the same problem. Um, but uh, I'll be seeing if I could get them to take some pinky mice, and if not, I'll try scenting it with Day Old Chick. And if that doesn't work, then uh, I have plans to order uh, some baby button quail, and they should go absolutely bonkers for that, because that's what I was told they'll go nuts for. So, here she is. And I didn't mention this part, but a good friend of mine uh, who lives in the area, he's another reptile person, which is kind of rare in this area. Well, an actual reptile person. There's a lot of people that keep them, but not a lot of people who actually, like, know reptiles in this area. So, um, yeah, I was, uh, I asked if I could get this snake and one other, and, um... He was like, yeah, 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 I can get you a female of each, no problem. Because he was told that he could, because he was getting them from Tom Crutchfield. Um, his name's Roy Payne, I don't know if any of you guys know him, but anyways. He uh, he went to go get them, and then when he gets down there, he's like, okay, so I'm sorry, buddy, but uh, he's only got a male. And I was like, well, for the Dominican, I mean, the other one, he got a female, no problem. But he was like, for this one, he's like, I could only get a female. Or a male, I mean. And I was like, oh, shoot. Well, I just wanted a female. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll pass. So later that night, I get a call from him, and he goes, hey, I got them for you. I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, I got you both. And I was like, oh. And he's like, yeah. He's like, I worked out a deal. So he now has a male Dominican Red Mountain Boa from a different, um, different parents. And, um... I have the female, because he was, uh, Tom was trying to sell them as a pair. Obviously, I don't really care about having a pair at all. Um, so, uh, my friend ended up getting the male. So, uh, if and when, you know, the time comes, you know, I want to breed, or he wants to breed, he can just let me know, and, uh, we can breed these, but I'm very picky about when they'll be bred, so it's not going to be, like, when she's, like, three or four years old, it's going to be, like, when she's like six or more years old, because I want to make sure she's fully grown before she breeds, because if you don't do that, then, you know, for the rest of their lives, they're going to just be trying to catch up to where they were and try to rebuild up for the next breeding season. I kind of said that funny, but I hope you guys get my point. So anyways, though, that's Talia, my little Dominican. Chilobothros striatus used to be um, Epicrates striatus. If you don't know anything about Epicrates, that's the family that um, rainbow boas are in, actually. But these are West Indy um, boa, well, boas. I was almost said boa constrictors. They are constrictors, but they're West Indy boas. And uh, very, very sweet. I like them a lot. The cute little guys. They're in small tubs right now, but uh, they'll be in bigger tubs as they get older. And up next, we have my little pistol. <sighs> right here. The last, but most certainly not least, in my opinion. This, for any of you guys who don't know, this is Chilobothros um, subfluvus. I just made myself look like an idiot. Uh, yeah, Chilobothros subfluvus. Something like that. Which is the Jamaican boa, for those of you who are waiting for me to answer that. Very, very, very neat snake. Uh, these guys are going to get closer to the size of like a uh, coastal carpet python. Um, this one is a day younger than that Dominican Red Mountain Boa. Hopefully you guys can see the size difference. You might see that there. I'm pretty sure that is P. Also a very, very sweet snake. The only thing about her is she has tried to nip me a couple times. And she has must on me quite a few times. Um, but otherwise, she's very sweet. Um, 
her uh her bites are very very pathetic i would show you but i don't want to i don't want to stress her out but when she lunged up at me it was not very impressive let's just say that very 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 unimpressive if i was a predator and she was biting at me like that then um yeah she wouldn't be living too long cuz it was it was not very scary I almost let her bite me because I was like, okay, that's kind of adorable. You can go ahead and do that. So so the funny thing about this snake that I wanted to mention real quick, um, also a West Indy um, boa, just like the uh, Dominican Red Mountain. Um, but the funny thing about this one is, uh, as you can see, she's got a ton of oranges. Oh, I didn't mention her name. Her name is Callie. Oh, and I think I forgot to tell you guys the, sec the name of the uh, second uh, hognose snake. The second hognose snake's name is Odin. Back to this. So this is Callie. Callie is a... Uh, she's a Hindu goddess. Talia is a uh, Greek goddess of poetry. And this one... I forgot what the um, the name was. Uh, what the Or what the goddess is... Uh, goddess of but this is Kali Hindu goddess um so when she reaches adulthood this upper part of her is going to turn more of like a yellow with like kind of blackish patterning and her tail is actually going to turn out to be uh turn out to be black um <clears throat> looking at the pictures it kind of reminds me of a Bradley python just with a yellow instead of like a reddish orange which, speaking of, I was just looking up at my Bradley Python, and my Bradley Python is um, very, very big compared to what he was last year. And he's very, very beautiful right now. Um, he's starting to really get his adult colors, which I'm very impressed by. So that's pretty cool, too. But this is Callie. She's a sweet little thing. Like I said, she'll be getting uh, probably around 7 to 8 feet, could even hit 9. Uh, more likely than not, going to be around the 7 to 8 foot range. So a bit bigger than the Dominican Red Mountain. I mean, unless the Dominican ends up being kind of a, a behemoth. But um, more likely than not, this one's going to be a little bit bigger. Whew! Excuse me, everybody. But, anyways, I want to show you guys the new babies. Because, uh, gotta love carpet pythons. Gay, if you guys know her as her actual name. She wanted to see them. She said, please give us an update, because I told her that I may or may not have gotten some new acquisitions. So, um, here they are. Here you go, gay. Just for you. I made this video just for you. we got a lot going on. Work's been changing a lot for me. Um, so, that's, um, that's been a lot to deal with. But, otherwise, I'm doing well. I'm taking good care of my pets. Um, so you guys don't have to worry about any of that. I've just been focusing on all of that. I haven't had really much time to do YouTube videos because of work. Um, but anyways, just wanted you guys to see this. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. Hope you guys are um, just as excited as I am to watch my new babies grow up. And my girlfriend's uh, two snakes too because... Uh, I mean, most people love hognose snakes, so I don't see why you wouldn't enjoy it. So, anyways, that's all for the new ones, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.